behind America's march to socialism. All right. It's not just socialism. It is radical Marxism. I'm going to, I asked you earlier, uh, you ever heard of Trooper Gate? Yes, Trooper Gate, of course, Trooper Gate. Have you ever read this statement about Trooper Gate? In Trooper Gate, the guy that Palin apparently fired said, quote, let's be clear, Governor Palin has done nothing wrong and is an open book in this process. That's the guy she fired. Quote, the governor was rightly expressing concern about Trooper Wooten. End quote. Okay, after he was fired, that's what he said. All right. But you know about Trooper Gate. You know about, uh, you know about her daughter. You know about the hockey player that impregnated her daughter. You know all of this stuff. Where was the press on this one? Where is the press on this? You talk about a vetting process by the press. The reason why we don't care about your vetting process by the press is because you don't take your job seriously. This from Investors Business Daily. Barack Obama was a founding member of the Board of Public Allies in 1992. You go to the website Public Allies and you're going to see that it's just a community organizer. That's all this is, just community organization. Barack Obama, founding member of the Board of Public Allies in 1992. His wife became the executive director of the Chicago chapter of Public Allies in 1993. Got it? Obama plans to use the nonprofit group, which he features on his campaign website, as the model for a National Service Corps. We've heard about this National Service Corps, haven't we? Universal Voluntary Public Service. When, uh, when, um, when Michelle Obama said, he'll never allow you to, be, to sit idly by again. He will never allow you to be unengaged. What does that mean? Universal Voluntary Public Service. A National Service Corps. Quoting from the story, our alumni from Public Allies are more than twice as likely as 18, 34-year-olds to engage in protest activities. Public Ally boasts in a document found with its tax filings. It is already deployed an army of 2,200 community organizers like Obama's, like Obama to agi agitate for, quote, justice and equality in his hometown of Chicago and other U.S. cities, including Cincinnati, Los Angeles, Milwaukee, New York, Phoenix, Pittsburgh, and Washington. Cincinnati recruit Amy Vincent said, I get to practice being an activist, and I get paid for it. The, Ob uh, the Obama's plan is to herd American youth into government-funded re-education camps. Will they be brainwashed into thinking that America is a racist, oppressive place in need of social change? The pitch Public Allies makes on its website doesn't seem that radical. It promises to place young adults, 18 to 30, in a paid one-year community leadership position with nonprofit or government agencies. They will also be required to attend weekly training workshops and three retreats. In exchange, they'll get a monthly stipend of $1,800 plus health care and child care. They also get a post-service education award of almost $5,000 that can be used to pay off student loans and fund future education. Got it? Public Allies promotes diversity and inclusion. That's what you'll find on their website. More than 70% of its recruits are people of color. When they're not protesting, they're staffing AIDS clinics, handing out condoms, bailing criminals out of jail, and helping illegal aliens and the homeless obtain food stamps and other welfare. Haven't gotten to the good stuff yet. Public Allies brags that they are more than 80% of their graduates have continued working in nonprofit or government jobs. So the people who are trained by these people, 80% of them go to nonprofit or government jobs. It's training, quote, the next generation of nonprofit leaders, future social entrepreneurs, end quote. Does any of this sound familiar? Does any of this starting to connect with the speech that uh, you have heard Obama and Michelle give all the time? Don't go into corporate America. Work for the community. Be social workers. Shun the money culture. 
Individual salvation depends on collective salvation. If you commit to serving your community, we will make sure you can afford a college education, said Barack Obama. How was he going to do that? Well, here it is. Public allies. Public allies. They do some good stuff, don't get me wrong. Not everybody in public allies is a radical, don't get me wrong. But not all of the recruits appreciate the PC indoctrination. A graduate of the 2005 Los Angeles class, Nellie Niblis, says it's just a lot of talk about race. It's a lot of talk about sexism, a lot of talk about homophobia, a lot of talk about isms and phobias. One of those isms is heterosexism. Heterosexism. Which a public allies training seminar in Chicago. Remember, founding member Barack Obama. Executive director Michelle Obama in Chicago. That's their chapter. A public allies training seminar in Chicago describes heterosexism as a negative byproduct of capital, quoting, of capitalism, white supremacy, patriarchy, and male dominated privilege, end quote. By the way, your tax dollars now fund about half of public allies' expenses through Bill Clinton's AmeriCorps. Obama wants to fully fund it and expand it to a national program some say will cost $500 billion. Obama said, quote, We have got to have a civilian national security force that is just as powerful, just as strong, just as well-funded as the military. Public Allies, Chicago chapter founding founding member barack obama executive director michelle obama listen to the words in their speeches it is all code language it is all the language of the 1960s radicals they have their they have their tentacles into an organization that does good things, but also teaches that heterosexism is a byproduct of capitalism, white supremacy, patriarchy, and male-dominated privilege. Heterosexism! Let me tell you something, gang. It is the liberal elite, it is the march of socialism that has been happening in our universities forever, it is the Marxism that has been festering in our large cities. And nobody is willing to call it by name in the media. It is the reason why Barack Obama, who should have a 20-point lead. This is the best thing about America. America, you don't know this stuff. Why doesn't Barack Obama have a 20-point lead with everything he has? Because something in your gut says something's not, something's not right. He can't close the deal because enough people say something's not right here. This is it. And it's been kept from you. Somewhat. Every piece of this puzzle has been outed. Every piece of this puzzle is out there. But nobody will put the pieces together. All they want to do is say, look at the nice Greek columns. Look at the nice stage show. Isn't it cool that he's, he's African-American? We'll bring more on this story as it continues to develop in Investors Daily, Business Daily, the National Review, and the Glenn Beck program. I wonder when we'll get... The journalists who have such a responsibility, the, the fourth branch of government, to actually fulfill their civic duty.